Hi, Debbie Chu here from Chu on Vegan and welcome back to my kitchen. I'm a full-time RN and I follow the starch solution. If you're not familiar with the starch solution, it is a starch center diet. It focuses on low calorie density foods so you can lose weight and get healthy. This way of eating was developed by Dr. John McDougall. If you would like more information on the starch solution, I will leave a link to Dr. John McDougall's book, The Starch Solution, in the description box below. On my channel, you will find whole food, gluten-free meals that are quick and easy. If that sounds like something you're interested in, please subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a video, which is every Tuesday and Saturday. I've also started a Facebook group, and this is a group of like-minded people. We're all on The Starch Solution, and we're there to support and help each other so if you'd like to join that I will leave a link in the description box. Today I'm going to be showing you some more of my low calorie density meals to help you lose weight and get healthy. I'll be making a super easy three bean salad. I will also be making a hash brown dish and I will be making a sweet treat. So let's get started. So these are my Mexican style hash browns, taco hash browns, whatever you want to call them. They're delicious. We're going to start with the old faithful Trader Joe's hash browns. We'll pour some of these into the bowl. We're going to use about half a bag and then we're going to put in some black beans, about a cup. And I'm gonna put in a shredded zucchini. Now you might think this doesn't really go with this dish, but it's delicious. And it gets more veggies into your meal. The next thing I like to add is my Trader Joe's fire roasted onions and bell peppers. This just makes this dish so easy. Not a lot of cutting and chopping. Next, I'm just going to chop up a couple of mushrooms. I really like adding mushrooms. Mushrooms are a great anti-cancer food. So throw a couple of those in there. And then I'm just gonna rough chop a green onion. to rough chop a little bit of cilantro. If you don't like cilantro, it's optional. You could put parsley in there if you'd like or just leave it out altogether. Next, I'm adding in a package of mild taco seasoning. Then we're just gonna give this a good mix and then we're gonna get it on the stove. So you wanna preheat your skillet on a medium high heat. And then we're just gonna add all of the hash browns in. So you kinda wanna pat them down. We're gonna cover these and let them cook about five or six minutes. Then we're gonna give them a good stir and cook for another five minutes or so. So I just finished these off with some of High Carb Hannah's uh, spicy roasted red pepper sauce. And I will leave a link to that recipe in my description box. If you want these crispier, of course, cook them longer. Um, but these were about six minutes on each side. I stirred them um, after the first six minutes. Next is a super easy three bean salad. I'm gonna use one can of garbanzo beans. These are rinsed and drained. I just put them back in the can. Then we've got a can of kidney beans and a can of white beans. You can use the northern, northern beans if you'd like as well. Then I've got some red onion. 
and some cucumber. Then as far as my dressing, I'm going to be using my 3-2-1 dressing. I will leave the link below, but basically it is three tablespoons of balsamic vinegar, two tablespoons of mustard, and a tablespoon of maple syrup. So I'm just going to give this a shake. And you just put as much as you want on there. I'm going to put a little bit and then stir it up. Now as far as seasonings, I'm just going to do a little bit of parsley, dried parsley. Maybe about a tablespoon. And about the same of oregano. A little pinch of salt. And little crack of pepper and we'll mix this all together so here's our three bean salad it is full of fiber low calorie density perfect dish fill you up you can eat a ton of this i suggest that after you make it you put it in the fridge for a couple hours it's a lot better once those flavors kind of meld together and uh, i like mine chilled so i hope you give this one a try so here is this sweet treat that I promised you. These are going to be bliss balls. Now these are a little bit higher on the density scale, the calorie density scale, but you know, for a once in a while treat, these are perfect. It will definitely satisfy your sweet tooth and these are all good for you. If you're still in the weight loss phase, you might want to skip this, but um, these are great to have on hand if you do need something sweet. So we're going to start off with about 22 pitted dates, which I have soaked, which will make them mix up a little better. And we're just going to add everything into the food processor. I'm going to pulse these for a minute, not even a minute, but just to kind of get them going. Now we're going to add all the other ingredients. We have a cup of gluten-free oats, two tablespoons of hemp seeds, two tablespoons of cocoa powder. The original recipe called for four tablespoons of peanut butter, but I'm going to use three tablespoons of PB2, which has way less fat and calories. And then I'm going to use a tablespoon of almond butter. You can use peanut butter. I didn't have any peanut butter, so I figured this would be fine. Then we're going to pulse this up again. Then we're going to add a little bit of water, a little at a time. And you probably will have to scrape down the sides. Just adding enough water to get them going. All right, that's looking pretty perfect. So I wet my hands a little bit so the dough won't stick to me. And then I just use my little scooper and you just roll it. And then you can you just make it into a little ball. And then I've got some hemp seeds, some cocoa, and some PB2. So you could just go ahead and roll that in one of those. And what you're going to do is you can, we're going to put these in the fridge or you could freeze them. I like to keep mine in the freezer. And these are going to make a ton. So it's great. Um, and that's it. So we're, I'm just going to continue making my little balls here, rolling them in different toppings here. You could use um, nuts. I've used pistachios before peanuts, anything would work fine. So I hope you found this video helpful and you got some ideas and maybe some tips on how to make your life easier on your plant-based journey here into good health. And if you did, if you could please leave a comment, I'd love to hear from you. And I will leave all the links to any products I used or 
the recipes in the description box below. Also, if you like my t-shirt here, Vegan Do It, I will leave a link to my Etsy store. I have a couple of different t-shirts that I have on there. And again, I hope you subscribe, like, and share this video. And please follow me on Facebook and Instagram, and check out my Facebook group as well. And just remember to focus on whole foods, and it's not about perfection, it's about progress, and it's about consistency as well. So if you go off plan, don't be discouraged, just get right back on on the next meal or the next day, and just keep trying, and that's all we can do. Until next time, thank you.